Oh, it means everything. I have had times when um, I haven't known where to turn. I've been so distraught and I would phone and, and they were always willing to talk to me. And um, after talking to them for a while, whether it was half an hour, three quarters of an hour, I always felt better. Twenty-five years ago, a group of concerned citizens and caregivers banded together to create a voice for people living with dementia in the community. So the Alzheimer's Society of Perth County gives a voice to those living with dementia. Whether it's the person with dementia or the caregivers, we are the ones that are advocating for them and developing programs and services. It's kind of your first point of contact. Um, so when you get that diagnosis or when the doctor refers you, um, it's kind of that first person that you talk to and then, um, you know, support you, whether that be uh, support groups or education, counseling sessions, um, kind of we meet people where they're at in their journey and um, support them from day one through. There's so much support that's there and, and just knowing that locally in our community we have the Alzheimer's Society so if people need that support it's there for them and that we support them right away, right? There's not that, that long wait list that you know they need to wait six months to have an appointment. Once they walk in kind of through our door make that phone call we're, we're right there with them so just to have that immediate support I think is, is huge. It's invaluable for our community. It's opened my eyes um, to the extent um, that the caregiver goes to to care for someone in their home. Um, prior to this, I was had long-term care experience, so I uh, naively just assumed that you would uh, place your loved one in long-term care. Um, so seeing the extent that these caregivers go to to keep their loved one at home and fulfill their wishes of being at home, is it, it blows my mind. It's amazing. We believe it's really important for people to support the Alzheimer's Society because this disease can touch all of us. Um, I guess we always think it's not going to happen to us, it's not going to happen to my family. Unfortunately, the stats say otherwise, and I think it's within the next 10 years even that all of us will be touched in some way by Alzheimer's disease. I just feel an affinity to, to it, and I, I also, having been the family member on the receiving line, and, and the impact is, um, I think it's important for me because I want to be able to to help people both with the disease but also their caregivers or their families. It's been good. You know, I've met a lot of people and um, just uh, just going through different things, finding out different things and you know, just more or less a bit of an idea of what's going to happen down the road. You know, so so I thought it's been pretty good. You know, there's not a cost involved for us, which is a big thing. Um, and uh, you know, we we can access it, and it's it's really needed. So I think it's really you know good to support it if you can, because never thought too much about it before we Henry's diagnosis, but now it's uh, yeah, it's really important. Now I I did go to one of their ses sessions and I um, I felt a little out of place but I felt it was very beneficial to me. It was for caregivers and I thought um, I thought I'll take tips for the people at home that are are seeing changes in me but I just found out how stressful some caregivers have it. We're, as, a, as a, um, a family, we're kind of trying to figure out how to, to get involved and as things continue to change, we're probably going to need the support and just helps in, in knowing how to support and what to expect. Oh, well, my hope would be obviously be a cure. <laughs> it would be great, you know, if we didn't have people that had to suffer the way that they do. You know, it's not, it's not just the person that suffers either, it's the families because the person that they cared about and loved is gone. You know, they're they, the person that they were, the where, they, you can't have those, those same conversations that you used to have. You can't, you know, you can't go to them and, and, and chat about, about things in your life because they don't really understand anymore. 
you don't imagine how good it makes you feel. It really does make you feel. Now I'll tell you today, the elderly gentleman that I was playing cribbage with, he told me how nice I looked for oh, at least three times through the game. And you know, I know he doesn't know what he's saying, but it makes you feel good. And to think that I can bring some joy into his life, even because he thinks he's looking at something pretty nice where he's not. And his wife is, is glad that I'm there because it gives her a two hour break. I guess the more we could learn about the actual disease, obviously the better it would be, so, which takes funding. And, but it's certainly been helpful to me. As I say, it's, uh, I had no clue. Uh, we work with Soups On, which is the winter event, um, which dry, I think it's about 5,000 people um, to Soups On. So we're one of the sponsors, we enjoy the, uh, the event, and I think we're looking for a, a new turnout this year. When a sponsor comes on board to support us with an event, um, I mean, to me it's very much a partnership. They're sponsoring us and they're doing us a great, they're helping us offset the cost of events and it's amazing. So we couldn't do what we do without them. So I see it as a partnership. I say, you know, I meet with each of them. What can I do for you? You're giving us this money so we can put this event on. What do you want to see out of this? You know, this is what I can give you in advertising and on our website and our social media. But what else do you want to see from this? Because I do want an open line of communication to, you know, garner that relationship. So it's, um, it's you know, supporting the Alzheimer's Society is, it's a win-win. I think more people do need to know, but I think it has really progressed since I've been on the board, big time. Like from all those years, I can just see it. It's really progressing and a lot more people are involved, a lot more people understand. Um, and then like our events, like Soup's On, all them, it really helps, it brings the community together. Perth County is a wonderful community and everybody's willing to help, volunteers, so yeah, I, I've seen a big progression since I've started, for the good.